Hello dear viewer, I want to take you on a walk with me today here in Ireland and I want to welcome you to the video and I, I want to say I hope you're having a lovely day and thanks for joining me. My name is Owen Fox and here I am in County Wicklow in Ireland, just in the fields and I'm going to go for a little walk and bring you along for the ride. So, let me tell you a story. What inspired me to make this video now is because I was going for a walk and then I saw my neighbour's dog and I went over to the dog and I was saying to the dog, I went over to the, and I was behind the fence and I just stuck my hand in and I was like rubbing it as I always do, her name is Lucy. And I was saying, oh look, look Lucy, I was saying you're beautiful, you're, you're special Lucy, Lucy you're so special, you're beautiful and you're gorgeous, you're kind, you're loving. And I was just saying this. <laughs> Because this is what we all need to hear more, and this is the truth, and it feels so good to say. I like to say we're all. I am. I am special. Of course, I'm special. We're all. We're all. We're all um, uniquely and individually special. No one's more special. It's not that we're on, in a competition or we're better than each other or special or more special, but. We are, you are special, you are amazing, you are marvellous, I am marvellous, I am amazing, I am special, I am wonderful, I am beautiful, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, special, marvellous, amazing, unique, gifted, talented. <laughs> this is what we need to be saying to our friends more, if we, or on our family and our kids. You know, if we want to bring out the best and wholeful wholesomeness in, in, in each other and from within each other, to up, unearth it, to bring it out. Because the society tells you the opposite. You can't do this, you can't do that. You need to do this first, you need to get a degree or a qualification before you can help anybody, which isn't true. We're divine beings. And of course I'm not against degrees or anything like that, but I'm just saying like the truth and the perspective. You are amazing, and like so is the cow, you know, so is that bloody gorgeous little animal, the, the Lucy, the dog. You know, so is the person you hate. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So never forget that, write it on your wall. Join me on Facebook. I, I make really beautiful, colourful like pictures with these things written on it. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? I talk to these cows and I wave at them and I say hi and everything. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello! That's probably why they're not looking at me now because they, they're used to me. <laughs> oh, there's one over there. Hello, little beautiful one. Hello, little beautiful. You're marvellous and special and amazing, aren't you? And you're loving and kind. <laughs> I love saying this is true. And it, it feels so good because it's true. Truth, the truth will set you free, that's why. Because the truth feels good. And it unburdens you. And also when you tell it, when you let out, it's something you're suppressed. Because you're afraid. You tell the truth, you feel, you feel free because you've let it out the truth. The truth shall set you free. The, the, the falsehood will make you feel angry and all that stuff. Resentment and anger feel bad, even though they can serve a purpose on one level to protect us from boundary breakers and all the stuff. Ah, so pretty. I love them. Animals are gorgeous. Thanks, thanks ladies and gentlemen. Love you all. <laughs> this one's looking at me. Ah, uh, it stopped. <laughs> what a life. Can you imagine being a cow? Oh, okay. There's also two bulls near my house or tree. On a different direction. Up that direction. But, uh, yeah. So, I'll leave you with that, ladies and gentlemen, I suppose. So, is there anything else for me to say, really? Just remember that, and um, just remember it. Let it sink into your bones. Let it like, let it seep into your unconscious and your conscious mind. Remember.
remember how amazing and extraordinary and special everybody is. Even the people who've worked in the past or who've had arguments or fallouts with. People act mean or cr or crazy. Like, well, I, I mean that in a very gentle way. So I'm not, not literally like crazy or bad. But people act mean or disharmonious, disturbed, disorientated. Because they're suffering and out of sorts. They're just like a little child. Yeah, and I mean that in a very respectful way. Like, even me, I can be like a little child at times. <laughs> People act like, you know, like a hurt, vulnerable, wounded child in a way who doesn't lost lost track of things a little bit. You can call that misalignment if you want, spiritual term. But uh So as I said in the as I was saying in the past, like hurting people don't need more hurt. They need love and compassion and forget care and stuff like that, forgiveness. Um Obviously, not to be um, to, to have healthy self-love boundaries too. But I was over there picking mushrooms earlier on. Oh no! Wait a minute. The other day, but I was looking at the mushrooms earlier. So I encourage you all to set yourself free um, by having true thoughts and feelings towards people who've hurt you, and um, process and let out and feel the pain, and otherwise think thoughts that align with the truth of love, care and compassion, goodness, decency and viewing them and knowing them to be beautiful creatures and when people aren't acting beautiful it's because this world we've grown up in it's very very un full of untruthful stuff and suppressive so people are just like a percentage of what they could be and we're all on our journey and I'm on my journey and like I've risen my percentage of who living based on who I am and I'm just gradually hiring it so part of hiring it is seeing the truth and letting go of the dense dense stuff towards people feeling love in your heart not just in your mind but actually feeling it in your body feeling the emotions and the feelings in your body having that peace that sensitivity the, the true genuine deep care and compassion so I just want to end this video by saying thank you everyone who's sent me love in the past, even if it's just some thoughts and feelings about me or towards me. It's very moving. And I want to thank people who comment as well, and leave their love, sprinkle love on my pages. I want to thank everyone and anyone who sent me a personal message. I received a really love one, lovely one today, like very moving, it made me cry, you know. It brought tears to my eyes two or three, four different times. <sighs> Life is about the depth, the deep stuff, guys. It's about everything, but the deep stuff makes life very deep and meaningful. That crow is making noises. Okay. <laughs> So I want to, we live on a surface society, surface level society, it's all about like this basic simple stuff generally speaking. It's all about like gross senses, and often about materialism usually. And it's changing because of the internet golden age, the golden age we're in, the internet age we're in as well. But I want to help you, remind you with deep stuff like I've been saying in this video and connect with your heart on a deeper level. When you do that, your life will change and just keep going deeper. Be more authentic. Keep growing in authenticity. And reach out and connect with people. Connect with yourself. Connect with your emotions. Forgive and let go and open up. Reach out. Sometimes you have to know when to hold back. Or just to, to, to not say something. And sometimes you know, have to know when to say something or to reach out or to have no holds barred, you know, in a, in a very positive, loving, authentic way, kind, friendly way. And remember the children and the animals and how you speak to them. And don't abuse your power or your dominance over a smaller creature or a human who's less powerful than you, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally. Don't be rough with your animals. Have the highest love, care, honor, decency, respect. Wow. <laughs> Just like emotional. <laughs> I'm 
and be real everyone it's okay to share your emotions okay i'll take care and lots of love to you hugs hugs for me i hugged two strangers yesterday was it i gave some beach nuts i gave around six people or seven or eight people beach nuts yesterday and i gave two strangers hugs and then i gave them a group then we had a group hug they were hitchhikers you were up there and I, I, I said hi, one was an Italian uh, g- girl in her 20s and another guy was an Australian guy in her same, similar age, late 20s maybe hitchhiking and I gave him, told him about beach nuts I gave them all my beach nuts and then I gave them a group hug <laughs> well we had a group hug, I meant to give them each an individual hug but he joined, <laughs> they sort of joined into a group hug by accident but then I gave them each another individual hug before they left and wished them the best and is there lovely people? And they got the first hitchhike. Imagine that. And they're like, oh, got it already. So a little bit of luck. And then, then later, then later, yesterday not evening, and when it was dark, I gave like three kids and some of their families like to bring home beech nuts. <laughs> beech nuts are lovely. Okay. See everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was worthwhile to you watching. Um, so. Don't forget, if you ever feel like sharing on anything I ever post, feel welcome for other people. Um, you don't have to. It doesn't have to be this video, but if you ever feel like it, just a little reminder. It's all easy going with me. So take care, bye. Bye for now, and I'll see you another time next video. And you're welcome to connect with me more and befriend me on Facebook and all that type of stuff, okay? Bye. Take care, and lots of love to you. See ya.